Hello, welcome to this mock on Antenna Basic Parameters. My name is José Manuel Fernández González from Universidad Politécnica de Madrid and this short presentation is about antenna polarization. The index of this presentation, first we will talk about radiated field polarization, second we will talk about polarization parameters, third we will see linear and circular polarization, fourth we will talk about copolar and cross-polar components and finally we will talk about copolar and cross-polar pattern. In the far field zone of one antenna, the electric field can be, can be modeled as a spherical wave. Here we have the spherical wave dependence of the electrical field. In spherical coordinates, we can write in the electrical fields with this definition. So here we will concentrate on the polarization unit vector. Okay? We will talk about the antenna polarization. Electromagnetic waves are transversal waves and the field direction is changing with time describing an elliptical curve that we have here. For some specific direction, function of theta phi, the polarization unit vector that we have here is a unit amplitude complex vector that can be written as the electric field divided by the absolute value of the electric field. We can also define the polarization unit vector in terms of theta and phi components. The polarization unit vector can also be written as a function of three real parameters alpha, that we have here, beta theta and beta phi. So we can express the polarization unit vector in terms of these three parameters. Axial ratio is defined as the, as the ratio of the larger, that we have here, to the shorter ellipse axis. Okay? We can express also the axial ratio in terms of the alpha parameter and the beta phi and beta theta parameter. Main axis orientation is the angle from the larger ellipse axis to the one of the orthogonal coordinates in the polarization plane. So, is tau value that we have here. We can also define the polarization angle tau in function of these three parameters. Polarization sense in the rotating direction of the electric field, seen as the wave, is going away from the observer. So, depending on the value of the beta phi and beta theta, we have clockwise or right-handed circular polarization or counterclockwise or left-handed circular polarization. We will see then different examples. For linear polarization, when both components are in phase, so beta phi minus beta theta is zero or in opposition, so beta phi minus beta theta is uh, or 180 degrees, the polarization is linear. Here we have the polarization unit vector in terms only of the alpha. The axial ratio of a linear polarization is infinity and the polarization angle is defined in terms of alpha, beta phi and beta theta. When alpha is zero, we have horizontal polarization. When alpha is minus minus uh, p divided by 4, we have polarization in 45 degrees. Or when alpha is pi divided by 2, we have vertical polarization. So it's 90 degrees. When both components are in quadrature, so we have that beta phi minus beta theta is plus minus 
90 degrees and equal amplitude, we have that alpha is P divided by 4, the polarization is circular. So here we have a definition of the polarization unit vector for circular polarization. We have the definition of left-handed circular polarization, which is the component theta plus the, the imaginary part of the uh, phi unit vector divided by square root of 2. And for right-handed polarization, it's the minus that we have here. Okay? Here we have the sense of the clockwise right-handed circular polarization and the counterclockwise, which is the left-handed circular polarization. Also, we have the value of the parameter beta phi minus beta theta is minus 90 degrees, really. and uh, the left-handed polarization, we have that beta phi minus beta theta is plus 90 degrees. For any specified polarization, we can divide the field polarization vector into two components. We are here. One proportional to the Dezier polarization, it's called the copolar unit vector, and one orthogonal to it, it's called the cross polar unit vector. Where we have this definition, the scalar product of the copolar unit vector with the cross polar unit vector complex conjugate should be zero and the relation. It is a unit vector, so the module of the copolar unit vector and the cross polar unit vector should be one. Copolar and cross polar component, cn x, can be easily calculated by a scalar product of polarization unit vector with the complex conjugate of the copolar unit vector for the copolar component and for the cross-polar component as the polarization unit vector scalar product with the complex conjugate of the cross-polar unit vector. Another definition is the polarization ratio. The way to define the polarization purity is the ratio between the cross-polar and the copolar component. And this is also called complex polarization ratio. We can also express this uh, polarization ratio in the absolute value in dB. This is what we have here. In many radio systems, like mobile telephones, two linear polarization are used like plus minus 45 degrees. Here we have the definition of the copolar unit vector and here we have the definition of the cross-polar unit vector. Considering here the vector for the polarization as the plus 45 degrees. Any polarization can be written as a function of these two vectors of the copolar unit vector and of the cross-polar unit vector. We can see it here. And we can define the copolar component and the cross-polar component. The polarization ratio also for this linear polarization can be defined in terms of the real parameters alpha, beta phi and beta theta. Using the two circular polarization vector as reference component, we can do the same decomposition. Here, for example, we have the copolar unit vector and the cross-polar unit vector considering the right-handed circular polarization. So here we have the polarization unit vector. Considering that the desired polarization is the right-handed uh, circular polarization and the cross-polar component is the left-handed circular polarization. We can also define the polarization ratio 
that can be written as the parameter alpha, beta phi, and beta theta. Many antenna specifications define parameters over the copolar and the cross-polar pattern. So we can represent here the radiation pattern of an antenna in terms of copolar, the desired polarization, and in terms of cross-polar pattern, the orthogonal uh, component. Copolar pattern is the field pattern of the copolar field component, and cross-polar pattern is the field pattern of the cross-polar field component. So the electrical field can be divided here, as you see, in terms of copolar and cross-polar component with the field patterns of cross copolar and the field pattern of cross-polar. Here we present the references that we use to do this short presentation. I hope you have enjoyed this unit. Thank you very much for your attention.